Engine. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora Fedex Amateur Series Season 6, Race Number 21 from Rockingham. This is the finale of the round of 12 in the playoffs. After today, four drivers will be eliminated on pole. You have Chad Brennan and Servant Sarah and a couple playoff drivers. Then you have Nick Alsup and set his mail. A couple more playoff drivers. Kyle Kesey and Bafood Sacco, a couple more playoff drivers. They have Kurt Hamilton, a playoff driver, and then Keegan Alsup Jr. Daniel Gittero and Matt Flood. Paul Wright and Lucy Henry's a couple playoff drivers with bad starting spots. And then William Stone, I believe, or he's a playoff driver, excuse me. Xavier or Rich Sweet. Daniel Colt, the lowest starting playoff driver in the field. And they have Tom Akers. Actually, that's a lie. Hayden Meadows in the 98th level starting. Green flag is out. 40 laps here from Rockingham. Ooh, the 19 of Wies von Schmidt having trouble. The points are really tight here in the amateur series. They were a lot more spread out in the premier series yesterday, and we saw who got eliminated there. Chad Brennan will lead lap number one. Very important bonus point. He comes into today. Second points, 23 to the good. Kyle Kesey running second. His teammate is actually the points that are right now. And he's 25 to the good. Nick Alsop in the 29s had a great season as a whole. But right now, he's ninth in points. Seven back. Top eight will advance, obviously. Matt Flood getting underneath Keegan Alsop. Junior. We used to watch Schmidt coming out of the pits. Must have been a tire issue or something. See if any playoff drivers dropping back. Key, or, uh, William Stone all the way back in 29th. He currently sits 7th, 8th to the good. So that 14 car needs to get a hand on things fast. But it's a long race. 40 laps. Oh, Paul Wright nearly getting turned around. David Cervantes blowing up. Luckily not a playoff driver. But you hate to see it for the all-time wins later in the series. Hayden Meadows was the worst qualified or qualified uh, amateur series driver today, and he is currently working his way up inside the top ten as he passes set as male for tenth. It's still all Chad Brennan up front after five circuits around this track. You see tires starting to fall off already. Over a tenth off his best lap. They're starting to run the outside. Oh, four tenths off. Nice. In the amateur series, we run times four. So you start seeing long run, or uh, tires fall off a lot sooner than you would in the Premier Series. So this is already pretty much a long run here at Rockingham. Oh, and three wide. Richard Sweet takes Xavier Rain and Daniel Gittero. Because Daniel Gittero is dropping back. He was sixth at the line last time by. He's barely being top ten this time. Still all Chad Brennan. We just punched Schmidt back out on track. He's got fresher tires than everyone in front of him, but it's a little too late. But he's already two laps down. Yep. How about William Stone, man? He won the playoff opener at Darlington a few weeks ago. He's 35th. Paul Wright, another playoff driver in 33rd. Lucy had a reach back in 20th. Kurt Hamilton, 16th. The Food Sacco, 15th. Daniel Colt, 13th. Hayden Meadows, 10th. Sedismel, 9th. Servant Saran, 6th. And then Nick Alsop, 3rd. Kyle Kesey, 2nd. And Chad Brennan, 1st. Here, lap 9 of 10. And look at the last lap, man. Already 6 tenths of a second off. Keegan Alsop Jr. now to the inside of Matt Flood for 4th. Keegan sailed it off in there. And he will clear him off turn number two. Maybe not. Matt Flood got a huge run down the back. You really don't want to enter on the outside in turn three, man. There's not a lot of group up there yet. Easy to get up in the marbles and smack the wall. Quarter of this race done already. Chad Brennan remains your leader. Alright, sorry about that. I don't hear my phone ringing, but. Alright, so Damien Miller and all the way back down to 40th. He was up towards like the top 20 earlier, I thought. William Stone gradually increasing his position back up to 28th. Paul Wright coming up. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 
uh, yeah, 26, 28th, and Kurt Hamilton now dropping back. Pit stop should be coming up very soon, as we're about a second off our best laps. Luciana Reese, 20th. She keeps hanging around there. Remember, four drivers will be eliminated today, and I think it's safe to assume it might not be one of the top three if they keep up the way they are. However, now that I said that, all three probably will get eliminated with the commentator's jinx. Keegan also Jr. reeling them in very quickly. Kyle Casey starting to get a run up on Chad Brennan. And Chad Brennan's tires are falling off big time. Kyle Casey going to take advantage. It's been all Chad Brennan for the first 13 laps. Kyle Casey going to come around and leave lap 14. Three wide for second. Keegan also Jr. backs out of it. And Chad Brennan's tires have fallen off. In a hurry, man. He just fell off a cliff. Lap we'll 15 of 40. Surprised pit stops haven't started, to be honest. So Nick Alsop now moves up to second. Keegan Alsop Jr. third. Servantan fourth. Richard Sweet fifth. And then now set his mail up past uh, Chad Brennan. Oh, and Nick also Jr. starting the pit, or starting the pit cycles. How about Maggie Ford up in the top 10? We saw her in the very back earlier. And that Acres Racing Dodge. It's going to be interesting to see how much faster Nick also and Chad Brennan are. Oh, and Paul Wright, the playoff driver, nearly gets hooked by the 31 of Jack Marks. So the 22 of Kyle Kesey has stayed out the longest of the playoff drivers. And he's still not pitting. I think he's hoping for a caution and trap a couple people lap down. But man, whenever he pits, he's going to lose this lead so fast. I don't know if I agree with this. Like, he's already lapping. His last lap was a 25.30 and his best lap's a 22.63. That's over two seconds slower. That's nearly three seconds. Just get to pit road, Kyle. I mean, whenever you're the points leader, you can do what you want, but 25 points can go fast. Lap 20 of 40. I think he's trying to make this a one-stop race. Without any cautions, this could be the winning strategy, actually. But look how much faster our back marker is. There's Luciana Reese in the 21 playoff driver. She comes out of the pits 26th. Kyle Kesey might have had the, a very interesting strategy call, and that's, that, that's fact. It might have been the best. As he probably won't have to pit for the remainder of this race. It's if closely if everyone else will. They've been on lap 15. I don't really know who's going to cycle around in the lead. Um, who started these cycles again? It was uh, Chad Brennan and Nick Also. And where is Nick Also? There is Nick Also. He was 10th at the line, a lap down. So those eight cars, William Stone, one of them, he made his bed. Eight points to the good. He's going to have to hope everyone else has to pit again. If Kyle Kesey can hold on to the lead, which I highly doubt, that's going to be a miracle. Because, man, he was going so slow those last three laps. The 29 is going to be coming. But he's going to be extremely fast towards the end of this run. The 22 is. I love strategy races, man. And Nick also up out here, hoping he has the lead. And that Kevin Harvick Incorporated Chevy. And he does. Where is Kyle Kesey? There he is. With a line, he was 19th. Oof. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Who is that? Caitlin Winter stuck up on in the inside. Oh, okay. No caution. That could have been sketch. So. 
Nick also has the lead by two and a half seconds over Richard Sweet. The food sacko Chad Brennan, fourth, fifth. Hayden Meadows, uh, sixth. Servants here in eighth. Or ninth, I mean, excuse me. Those are the playoff drivers in the top ten. So, coming to fifth or 16 laps to go this time by, I expect around lap 30 we should see those other cars on pit road. Maybe they can stretch a little further, 32, 33, but I don't think there's any way they can go 25 laps. Nick also is only on lap 5 of his run. Those other guys are on lap 10. His last lap was a 23, 23. Safe fuel if you have to. He was 2 tenths slower than 38th place Joe Jefferson, who actually won last week at Bristol. Set his mail, the playoff drivers in 41st. Set his mail coming to this race, 5th in points, 17 to the good. He's going to need a miracle now. Paul Wright's 35th. He was 17 to the good, 4th in points. Kurt Hamilton, 27th. We mentioned earlier, here's 20 points to the good. William Stone, 26th. He stayed out a lot, a long, uh, a lap, or, excuse me, he stayed out to lap 20, just like, uh, um, a whole bunch of people did. Nick also pit on lap 15, though. Remember that. I think I was saying that his laps or his tires were fresh. I don't know, man. It's really cold in my room. I can't really focus. William Stone, 8 points to the good. Lap 26. He has to hope everyone in front of him runs out of fuel. Lucianne is 22nd. She came into today. 6th in points. 11 to good. Kyle Kesey, 17th. He's not really past people as fast as I thought he would be. Here he is going for 16th. How about Cynthia Bright in 13th? Maggie Ford remains in 12th. A good day for her. Daniel Cole 11th. Servants here in 8th. Hayden Meadows just outside the top 5. Chad Brennan in the top 5. Buffoon Sacco 4th. Tom Akers having a great day for that Stuart Haas Racing Ford. And Richard Sweet 2nd. Nick also now getting past a little bit of live traffic. We have Schmidt who's just had a tough day man he just came out of the pits actually he is three laps down after missing the start <clears throat> 10 to go will we see start seeing people on pit road or 11 to go technically no one's came down yet though this should be the lap they do it if my calculations are correct and nick also is he doesn't have enough fuel to make it just as we predicted lap 30 or 40 do the other drivers have enough fuel to make it, though? That's the question. This is going to be close. And also, 10 laps is a long time. Even if they do have enough fuel to make it, their tire is going to be dead. Where is Kyle Kesey? Or William Stone right there, 14th. Kyle Kesey up to 5th now. Maggie forward, 4th. Lap. Hayden Meadows is actually the leader. That was a very important bonus point for the 98 car, I gotta say. Oh, the O2 with damage on his fender. I can't really get to it. So here's the battle for the lead. I assume they're coming down to pit road. They are. Kyle Kesey is not here in the wall. Can Kyle Kesey use strategy to get himself a dub? He has a second and a half over Keegan Alsop Jr. As long as there's not a caution. Even if there's a caution, he's probably going to trap a lot of people lap down. As long as they can make it. William Stone, he had to use that strategy, man. He had a bad car. He was outside the top 20 all race. Here he is late in the going sixth place. Paul Wright, ninth. He had a bad race going as well. Kurt Hamilton, 21st, coming out in front of the leader and championship rival. Kyle has no business going up there and trying to lap him, man. Just complete these last laps. Six to go for Kyle Kesey. While it isn't the Memorial Day Classic, this race does fall on Memorial Day, so it'd be a big win for Kyle Kesey. Gotta let all these cars with fresh tires go. 
Nick also, he is ninth. So it's not going to be the end of the world for him because he had to pit. Not very many people were on this strategy. There was Remember those eight we were talking about earlier? Here we are. Those eight. Oh, it looks like the 32 and the 14 might not have enough fuel to make it. Oh, William Stone, interesting. Can Kyle Kesey make it? Because there's a 32. And the 54 stayed out as well. Kyle Kesey's going to come around for another lap. Four to go here in Rockingham. Man, you see how slow he is up off these corners. Over two seconds slower than his best lap. These tires are gone. Coming to three to go here at Rockingham. There's only five cars on the lead lap. Joe Jefferson is one of them. Can he get back-to-back -back top fives? This race was looking terrible for him earlier. Paul Wright in fourth. Can he hold on? Do they have enough fuel to make it? Two and a half laps to go here for Kyle Kesey. Here comes Nick also trying to get his lap back. Kyle Kesey lifted early there. You hear him saving fuel, trying to hold on to that race car. This time by Kyle Kesey, two laps to go. His lap time was a 25-15, whereas Nick ran a 23-27. Kyle's going to let them go, man. He has nothing to gain from battling with them. A lap and a half to go here at Rockingham. Does he have enough fuel to make it? What a strategy this was. How about the 79 of Landon Fenway jumping Keegan also Jr. for second? Half a lap to go for Kyle Keese. He's just going half throttle around this track. Oh, he's going to hold up serving Sarah Hank and Daniel Colt jumped 83 for 10th. Chad Brennan as well. Here comes Hayden Meadows. That's an important point. Oh, and Kyle Keese held up his teammate. It's not going to matter. Kyle Keese. Pulls some magic out and wins at Rockingham for a second win of the chase. We'll be back to look at your official results. Kyle Kesey winning photos up on the up on screen, I guess. And the fastest lap belongs to the eight. So no playoff points on the line for any of the playoff drivers. Take a look at your official results. Kyle Kesey with the win of Landon Finway, Keegan also Jr., Paul Wright, and Nick also gets that top five. Tom Akers, Richard Sweet, Bafood Sacco, Hayden Meadows, and Servant Sarahan. Tough break for uh, Joe Jefferson. He had a top five, and I hit him with the curse as he blows a tire. You can see where everyone else finishes. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, see you guys next time. Later. He said, boy, can you make fans stand and scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into victory lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you daytona bound, let me wonder you're in for a ride